Just a correction, the official date that Binance will be banned from Malaysia will be on 14th of August as I've missed out an important information on the media release as it says 14 business days as of August onwards. For the updates, I just recently saw a tweet on Binance is hiring a country manager for Malaysia and for a lot of people, this is a very good sign and a lot of people are speculating that Binance is actually taking the actions to hire a country manager to try and comply with the fellow regulators in Malaysia. However, no matter how good the country manager from Malaysia is, Binance still hold a risk of being banned in Malaysia as I believe that it takes a little bit of time for the country manager to actually come down with an agreement with the Securities Commission Malaysia. So there is definitely going to be a period of time where we as Malaysian users for Binance will not be able to access that exchange. Another important piece of information that I want to share with you guys today is that CZ, the CEO of Binance himself tweeted that new users from Hong Kong will not be able to open a futures account on the exchange. Now he also added, this is one of the many proactive measures Binance is taking to help establish crypto compliance best practices worldwide. Exactly what I said in my past video, but in my opinion, I believe we do not need to panic as CZ, the CEO of Binance or the founder of Binance will definitely find a solution to comply with fellow regulators. It also fills his pockets anyways, so he's definitely going to find a solution, which is what I believe. But CZ, the CEO of Binance will definitely find a way to comply with fellow regulators, even the ones in Malaysia. And that my friends is a signal that Binance might not be permanently banned in Malaysia. So right now, I think all we gotta do is to keep our eyes on the conditions that Security Commission Malaysia will give to Binance to operate legally in Malaysia. So here's my solution. Whether or not Binance will solve their problems or this problem in the stipulated amount of time, it is definitely best to play it safe and transfer all of your valuable assets out of the exchange for the time being. I will be doing the same as well as I will be transferring all my crypto into my cold wallet as I believe that situations like this with a very high uncertainty is just not worth the risk. Humans cannot stop innovation, we can only adapt to it. Crypto is recognized as a real asset right now, so I'm sure that something will work out. Now it is a Saturday night that I'm recording this video and I hope that you guys will appreciate all of my effort and if you do, you already know, smash the like button and that helps me a lot more than you think because it only takes you 2 seconds and it means the world to me. And if there is any big issue that should be addressed, you can always come back to this channel. I will be here to serve you guys with more content. With that being said, I hope you guys are staying safe, investing safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.